Okay, we're going to simplify the following complex fractions containing unit factors. So we need to recognize the complex fraction in the first place. So I'm going to look for the main fraction bar, which is right here. The numerator um, looks like grams carbon, would be what that represents. The denominator is the fraction. So we're going to invert and multiply this. We're going to take and invert the denominator and multiply it. So we'll have G or grams carbon and then times um, the reciprocal right of moles, mole carbon and then grams carbon in the denominator. Um, so now we can just cancel our units just like we would in any other math things. The grams carbons would cancel um, and this would leave just moles or mole of carbon as our unit when we're done. Um, for B, the second part, for B again, we recognize the complex fraction. Here's the main fraction bar. In the denominator, we can simplify that. So I'm just going to rewrite this um, G over milliliters and then all over and I'm just going to write this as one fraction putting it together um, multiplying this would be G times L over EQ times ML um, again I'm just going to invert and multiply this um, so we got the numerator grams over milliliters and then times and then we're going to take the reciprocal of our denominator so the reciprocal would be um, EQ oh shoot EQ sorry times milliliters over grams times liters so again now once we have it as one fraction we can cancel our unit factors so the G in the numerator here can cancel with the G in the denominator. Milliliters in the denominator can cancel with milliliters in the numerator. And we'd be left with EQ over L. That's supposed to be Q, sorry. All right, let's moving down. We have another complex fraction. In this case, it seems simple enough, um, but it's a complex fraction where we have the numerator as being one and the denominator containing two fractions. Now we could add these together pretty simply because they have a common denominator, um, but I'm going to show method two here, which is clearing fractions. So the top and the bottom, I'm going to multiply by the common denominator of KM. And if you notice, the numerator just becomes KM. The denominator, once I distribute, the KMs cancel, leaving just a 1. And then if I distribute to the next term, the KM and the denominator will cancel with the KM I'm multiplying by, leaving just 1. So again, if I clear fractions, I'm going to end up with kilometers or km all over 2, which simplifies really nicely. Now again, we can use method 1 also, but we're going to clear fractions in that one. Um, so in D, um, I recognize that I can simplify the numerator because I have a fraction here times t, and it's over t squared. So I'm just going to cancel that t and the t squared in the numerator of my complex fraction and I'm going to end up with just this m g times centimeters squared over t and then that's all over m g times c m all over t. So again my complex fraction the denominator I'm going to invert and multiply 
So my numerator is mg times cm squared all over t and then times I'm going to invert and multiply by that denominator um, this would be t then in the numerator t over mg times cm times centimeters okay once I have this um, this complex fraction rewritten I have a numerator times the reciprocal of the denominator now I can cancel um, unit factors the t t's can cancel mg can cancel and then I have cm squared in the numerator and cm in the denominator there's a centimeter so I can cancel the cm in the denominator with one in the numerator and I'm only going to be left with that cm in the numerator so we just have cm as our units when we're done so again that simplifies very nicely too okay so the mathematics doesn't change I just need to recognize these unit factors instead of variable factors that I see in math classes working with these unit factors.